hello viewers welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'll be showing us how to make a lie solution here without wasting much of your time let's go to the video proper here is my water here is my bowl or my mixing bowl or my pail and this is my spot uh, my mixing my turning stick and this is the measuring can I'll be using this is my caustic soda for the light solution and this is my hydrometer I'll be using in measuring after mixing it first of all you need to add water with this i'm using three of this three parts of this and three of these containers for water that's one as the second one making it two and this is the last one three so to this three uh, containers of water i'll be using one of it for caustic caustic will be one while water is three whatever you use to measure your caustic that is exactly what you will use in measuring your water and please make sure you don't add water to caustic make sure you add caustic to water to avoid explosion this is acid you have to wear your hand gloves as you can see when dealing with caustic soda is very very dangerous see i finished pouring it so now i'll now pour it into my water please always add This is very very acidic so you have to be careful when working with caustic soda now I finish pouring it in I will now start mixing it to dissolve you will mix it till it's completely dissolved you can see the foams are coming out make sure you don't inhale it don't inhale this foam very very poisonous very very acidic please make sure you always go with a nose mask when preparing your light solution and please make sure you keep it out of reach of children It's all good for the health. You can see the foam is still coming out. Make sure you stir it properly. Continue stirring it. To dissolve it, to dissolve properly. You can see it's changing color turn to transparent liquid after it has dissolved completely stir it make sure it dissolves completely or if not to form lump a very big lump not be able to work with it so make sure you stay it properly still just stirring it still stirring it
can see it's now transparent it has dissolved completely we will now check our use our hydrometer to check it and this is what i'll be using what I'll be using I've added my caustic to this container very hot running my hand because it's super super hot so now here is my hydrometer and if you are making soup you are going to use 12.75 for laundry soup making 12.75 for laundry soap making and then for bathing soap it will be 12 at you gauge it at 12.50 you can see where 12.75 for laundry soap that's where you gauge it for laundry soap if you are making laundry soap but if you are making toilet soap you will gauge it at 12.50 so now, now put it inside here. Sketch it. I know it will need a little water, a little bit of water, because it's very hot. Make sure you put it in something that will help it to float. And you can see it's not all that okay. So you have to remove it. And now pour it inside. take it out again to do the proper because of the water I mix it's not gauge the not gauge so now now add it back make sure it floats to be able to have the accuracy make sure it floats Floating. as you can see the level now is at 12.75 you can see it there 12.75 that's the accurate measurements so you leave it we have it now you leave this caustic to cure for 48 to 72 hours before use in production or you can still use it like this but you have to keep it after production you have to keep the soap for one month before use but if you keep the caustic to cure for 48 to 72 hours you can after production you can use the soap immediately it hardens thank you for watching my video please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel turn on the notification bell to be notified each time i upload a new video and please 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 thumbs up this video thanks for watching and bye bye